Mark, they're going to try to take you away. So how do you as a receiver um, try to work around that? Um, just play my game um, and trust that the, the scheme and, you know, what LaFleur and Salah come up with is, is going to, you know, put me in positions to to win. Um, and, you know, and I believe that. So just go out there, play my game, and see what happens. With your um, your time at Tennessee, obviously you have a little experience playing against Bill's defenses. <clears throat> Can you take anything away from those games, or is, is almost every time you play New England, is it a little bit different? Yeah, I mean, they're a sound defense. Um, obviously playing under Bill, you know, he's going to get you right. Um, you know, they make few mistakes. They fly around. You know, they play hard. So that would be a good challenge for these boys, for us as an offense, to go out there and, <clears throat> you know, do what we want to do. What's it going to mean for you guys to have Jameson and, and Keelan back? It's going to be huge, man. Those Jamison and Keelan, they're a, a big presence um, you know, in our offense, and they do both do different things, but um, you know, bring different things to the table, which you know, elevates our offense. So you know, it's going to be huge to have those guys back. As, as a leader, you talked about last week when, when Elijah plays his first game, probably doesn't do as well as he wants to. Do you talk to him? Have you talked to him? You know, give him any advice? Yeah, yeah, just trying to tell him you know, there's highs and lows in this game. Um, you know, that was his first game, and... Um, you know, he's he's probably going to take away from it different than, than, you know, what I would say. But, um, you know, that was his first game. And um, there's, a, there's a lot to learn from, you know, that's for sure. And, you know, that's all you got to focus on and just worry about what's in these walls. You know, and <clears throat> you know, nothing else really matters. It's just the guys that's out there on the field with him and, you know, going to work with him. And um, that's all that matters. How do the Patriots corners look without Gilmore there? Do they, have they altered their scheme a little bit? Yeah, I mean, they're solid. Like I said, they play hard. They fly around. They got a good defensive back. Um, it's gonna be a good challenge for us, man. Not only, I mean, just because just Gilmer isn't in doesn't mean you know it's gonna be you know a, a cakewalk for us. It's gonna be a challenge for us. You know, we understand what they have back there, um, and it's gonna be a good game. Sala mentioned uh, having Crowder and Cole back in the, in the fold. That's gonna help with the pass protection from a communication standpoint. So, from your perspective, uh, how much does having them back? I'm sorry. How much does having them back help the pass protection? Cole. You're yeah, having Cole and Crowder back. Um. I mean, the pass pro. Yeah, because he, he was saying having them back that helps the offense all get on one accord and the communication improves. So how do, how does having them back having them back help the? Um. Back? I mean, it, I, to me, it's going to help the whole offense. You know, like I said, they they both bring something different to the table and it, it elevates our offense essentially. So. We're excited to have those guys back. Corey, watching you and Zach through August and, and then Sunday, you can see the chemistry you guys have. Did you feel that developing? Like, over, do you kind of, as, as a receiver, do you feel that yeah. developing over time? And when, when did you kind of feel like, okay, you know, we're on the same page here? Yeah, I, I mean, you definitely feel it when it when it starts to click. Um, you know, I've always said it, Zach's a great quarterback. Um, you know, it's always going to take time for us to really gel and. and you know, get on that same accord, which, you know, I think we are. Um, <clears throat> I think it happened over camp. You know, we've been working hard, and not only just, you know, me and him, but the offense as a whole. Um, you know, we came a long way, and still a lot of improvement to go, but um, we're ready for this week. When we talked to you last week, you were talking, uh, you mentioned briefly your first game in the NFL when you were a rookie and how, you know, mm -hmm. thing, you were kind of amped up a little yeah. bit, swimming a little bit. Um, obviously, this was Elijah's first game in the NFL, one of the guys in your room didn't go, I imagine, as he expected. Did you talk to him at all with your past experiences to, to try to get him back, yeah. back on? Um, yeah, I just told him that, there, like I said, there's highs and lows in this game. Um, in this game um, and you just got to stay in it. Um, obviously, from his perspective, he, it was a tough game for him, but you know, I see it as a learning experience. Um, there's a lot to learn from on that film. You know, he didn't do all bad. He did a lot of good things that went unnoticed, so you can't lose sight of that. But I definitely chopped it up with him all the time, you know, just see where his mental is. And, you know, he checks in on me every time, too. Not just football talk, but, but life talk. Um, but he'll, he'll be all right, for sure. Corey, with, uh, with Zach in particular, with, with the way I mean, he got chased around, he got hit, he got sacked, but he just seemed poised through the game. What did that show you and prove to you as a veteran who's been around to see this guy in his first game able to just keep bouncing back? Man, he's a tough dude. <clears throat> I mean, he got hit a lot, and just to see him, how he reacted, there was no frustration, there was no anger, none of that. He was just poised, like you said, and, um, you know, he was leading us. Obviously, the outcome wasn't what we wanted, but um, he showed a lot of heart. 
is that promising? Like yes. To looking to the future. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. We want guys to play hard and that have no quit, and that's what he is. At the throw he made to you for the, the second touchdown um, when you ran the out, it, mm-hmm. it looked like, I mean, it was tight coverage there. Yeah, it was. It was good coverage. It looked like it was got through such a small window. Yeah, it was, uh, it was great coverage, but um, it's a good ball, too. I think perfect ball beats perfect coverage every time. There was, um, it didn't go to you, but the pass that Zach made to Mims um, from up top and watching back, I mean, it's, it's pretty impressive. I mean, because he scrambles up, he yeah. knows he's going to take a hit, he gets walloped and still throws yeah, the pass. Yeah, he did. I mean, when you guys watched it back on film, I know it didn't go to you, but what was your impression of it? Man, I mean, he, he took a shot, he popped back up, too, and, you know, that's what we want. Like I said, we want tough guys and dudes who have no quit. And that's what he exemplifies, man. He's a, he's gonna be great here, and I'm excited to have him. And you know, we're gonna do great things. Corey, with so many new pieces on this offense and so many young pieces on this offense, how much do you expect this team to kind of jump week to week? You know, I mean, from week one to week two, how much, how much improvement do you expect to see each week? I feel like we're gonna improve um, every week. You know, being that we are young, we have new faces. Um, there's always, you know, a lot to clean up and a lot to improve on, um, you know, especially when we have younger guys and, and newer faces, like you mentioned. Um, you know, we expect to improve each and every week. Um, obviously, you know, you talked about Gilmore not being here, but what are some of your impressions of uh, J.C. Jackson? Because that's someone that you're probably matched up with a lot. Yeah, he's a strong corner, man. He's solid. Um, he's physical. He can run. He's good ball skills. Um, he does a lot of, a lot of things really well. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm looking forward to going up against him, man. So it'll be fun. We'll take a few more for Corey. Corey, the Patriots, you know, around here especially, but across the league carried an aura for a long yeah. time when Tom was there, right? Do you still feel that when, when you're facing the Patriots? Um, I mean, yeah. That's hard to say. A lot of people feel... <clears throat> you know, that, that that logo carries a lot of weight, which essentially it kind of does, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, we're not really focused on that. Um, it's really about us and what we do, not them. Um, you know, I, coaches always preach that, and I wholeheartedly believe that it's about what we do, and um, only people who can stop us is us. And um, be a good challenge for us, man. We're looking forward to it.